All right, guys, I know uh, the videos haven't been posted that often uh, with this car. Uh, everything is kind of going at a slow pace right now uh, with work and a lot of other stuff I have going on at home. Um, but we are making progress. Uh, we're getting a lot of the wiring done, so there will be more videos on that coming soon. Uh, I've had a couple comments on other videos as far as uh, what type of wiring we're going to be doing, if we're going to show the LS part of it and also tying back into the car. Uh, we will. I'm doing uh, the push button start, um, doing accessories, ignition button, that type of stuff, so there won't be any key uh, needed to start the car anymore. So there is content coming, it's just coming slow right now. Uh, it's tough for me to work on the car. Uh, with my work schedule, like I said, I work a lot, uh, so I don't have a lot of free time, but I'm doing what I can to get the videos together get them edited and post them up. Um, so for this, uh, it's probably going to be two or three parts for the electrical part of it, um, just so I can keep content flowing, um, keep videos up, and uh, try and get this done as, as quickly as I can. It's already April. Um, I was hoping to have the car done by now, but unfortunately that uh, didn't happen. It's, but we're still pushing, so uh, for this part of the video, what we're going to go over is uh, putting the intake in with the injectors, getting the pigtails wired up and tied back in to the engine harness, and then um, the start of getting the relays and the push button and the rocker switches wired up. Um, and then from there, I'm going to tie in the 240 into the ECU. There's only a few wires, there aren't that many. Um, mainly because there's, I eliminated a lot of stuff out of the car and a lot of stuff off the engine, so it's pretty basic. We'll be going over some wiring harness stuff, some wiring diagrams, things like that, to kind of show you guys what I did, um, how I got to where I got, and how I found the information, because that's pretty much the, the hardest thing to do is just find the information and find the right information and, and know you're doing it correct. So. I kind of go over that, and um, and hopefully it helps you guys. You know, hopefully I can get this thing up and running soon. That'd be great. Um, but like I said, just be patient. I, I am working on it. It's just slow. So let's get into it. Today we're going to get the uh, injectors installed on the fuel rail, and then installed in the intake manifold. So to do that, there are these little clips which are a pain in the ass to get off. Um, these little black clips. And all they do is hold the injector in. So luckily they, they all came on this fuel rail. So I'm gonna go through and just take them all off and set them off to the side. Now that I got all those clips off, we're going to take the injectors and we're going to put a little motor oil on the, uh, the O-ring before we put it into the rail. This will help get the injector in um, along with giving it a, a good seal. There's this little groove cut into it. See it doesn't go all the way around. This is what that clip needs to sit into. So we got to find, there it is. That nice little happy median. Now the injectors that I'm using for this, um, these are 30 pound injectors. They're a little above stock at 28. Um, but I got a good deal on them and it gives me a little bit of room to play with um, as far as the tune goes.
Now similar to what I did to put them in the rail, I'm going to put some oil around all the rings and I'm going to wind them up to each port and just push these in. And there you go, and they're in. Make sure they're down. All right, I'm gonna take these bolts that hold the fuel rail. Um, this is the pigtail for the LS1 in, uh, injectors. So it's two wires. So I have to cut this, uh, clean all these up, um, and then connect these back in. So I have them labeled. So I'll, I'll go through each one individually this way they don't get mixed up.
after sorting through and plugging in uh, everything that I have, this is how it sits right now. Uh, it looks like a giant mess, but it's it's pretty organized. Um, there really isn't that much to it anyway. Have this loom run behind the intake here and then through one of these existing holes and then I'll reuse the grommet. So for right now I want to go through and check some of these connectors. Um, like I have this wad of of wires left over. Um, I don't really remember if I did that for a reason because I took this harness apart about three months ago. Um, so as best as I've labeled it I still can't remember everything so that's what I'm going to go through now. Um, I have my cheat sheet which is uh, you can find on lt1swap.com we can leave a link but this is a pretty um, popular site alright that's where I got the this from um, I also that's where I sent my ECU to get tuned that's where I sent my ECU to get emissions removed um, the security the evaps okay now we have all the wiring for the injectors um, the MAF throttle body uh, the alternator and everything else. We have them all tucked in between the coil packs and the injectors where I want them. Um, now we're going to address the red and blue connectors for the ECU. Uh, what I want to do is run them through here with two bulkhead connectors. So I'm going to go through all these wires and then label them what they are and then de-pin them from these connectors. This way I can untangle all this mess. So that's what I'm going to go through now and do.